Key evidence was revealed today in the Southside explosion trial. Prosecutors say Mark Leonard caused the blast by tampering with natural gas. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van White reports tonight from South Bend where the case was moved because of pre-trial publicity. Rich? Scott, prosecutors are trying to convince jury members that there's no way this explosion could have been an accident and that the natural gas filling Monserrati Shirley's home didn't come from outside but came from inside her home. Less than two hours after the explosion, top executives of Citizens Energy were on the scene following authorities' directions to shut down the natural gas system. Then, director of shared field services for the utility, Curtis Pop, testified to what he saw. It was beyond chaos. It was horrible, Pop said. After the smoke cleared and the area was declared safe, investigators dug through the remains of the exploded home, uncovering its gas meter, valves, pipes, and other components. Another utility executive, Paul Puckett, was assisting investigators. He testified something was missing, a safety mechanism, a Maxitrol regulator. It significantly reduces the pressure of natural gas as it flows from the street main and into the home. Basically, the regulator was removed and there was hard piping in its place, he told the jury. Investigators claim Mark Leonard was the ringleader of a plot to fill Monserrati Shirley's home with natural gas, then rig the microwave oven to set it off. The plan was to collect the insurance money. The horrific blast devastated the neighborhood, causing more than $4 million damage and taking the lives of Dion and Jennifer Longworth. To help prove their case, prosecutors are giving the jury a crash course on natural gas, how it is piped to customers' homes, measured, and its flammability. A large exhibit assembled by Citizens Energy showed jurors the meter, pipes, regulator, and other components used in homes like Shirley's. Over the objections of defense attorneys, jurors saw a video using a small model of a home filled with natural gas, then ignited to demonstrate its explosive power. Tests done by the utility and checked by federal and state low, uh, authorities found there were no leaks in the gas lines leading to Maserati Shirley's home or her neighbor's home. Jurors were also showed pictures of the gas pipe in Maserati Shirley's home where the regulator should have been. There was nothing. And in another photograph, the gas line ending up at the gas-fired fireplace. Its shutoff valve had been removed. It was missing as well. Reporting live from South Bend, Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.